Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 hours. In this video, we'll solve a classification assignment. We've been given a matrix which shows, you know, if the marks fall under certain categories, what should be the class assigned and what should be the grade assigned. So there are some functions that we are going to use and these are not new functions. Basically now what we are doing is we are trying to combine multiple uh, functions and concepts we have covered. So to begin with, we will create a marks data header followed by grade and followed by class. So for the marks column, we use the rand between function and just for simplicity, I've specified the range as rand between 30 and 100. Then copy paste the same formula all the way down for about 100 values. And then to ensure that these values don't go on changing, use the copy paste special values so that these marks get frozen. Next we have to fix the grade and class data headers. For grade, we will use the nested if function. Earlier also we saw whenever we want to use the nested if function, we have to start with one extreme of the classification and then come backwards. So in this case, what we will do is, we will start with conditions for grade A and then work backwards up to grade F. So for grade A, the marks have to be greater than 90. So as usual, we begin with the if function equal to if A2, which is the marks column, greater than 90. Value if true will be A in double quotes. And because we are using a nested function, instead of a value if false, we come with the next if condition. Say if A2 greater than 74, because 75 to 90 belongs to grade B. Value if true will be B. And again, value if false will be another if function. So I go on doing this up to grade E. And then at the end of grade E, if the value is not 90, then the function checks is the value greater than 74. If not, it checks whether the value is greater than 60. If not, it checks the value greater than 50, so on and so forth. Then the only other possibility is that the marks are less than 35. So in the last section, after we have put in value if true for E, value if false will become F. And we know this because when we made the marks grid in column A, the rand between function used values between 30 and 100. Because we have this knowledge, we can straight away put this last condition as value of false. In the last one, after E, as F, the other thing to know is, whenever we are using nested functions, we are going on opening a lot of brackets. So when we finish the nesting of all conditions, nesting basically means putting an if within an if, putting an if within an if, that is known as nesting of function. So you just have to ensure that you close all the brackets properly and hit enter and straight away the grade comes. And then as usual we use the drag and drop function to ensure that all the marks value have a grade assigned to them. Now to determine the class one option is to use the if function. The other way is to use the VLOOKUP function. So what I do in this case is I create a grid saying if the grade is A, the class should be on. If the grade is B, the class should be distinction. So on and so forth. Then I come to column C2 and use the VLOOKUP function saying equal to VLOOKUP B2, which is where uh, the grade is. The next input parameter for the VLOOKUP function is the range. And the range in this case is the grid where we have the grade and class. And if the value is true, we need to take the second row to comma zero. So that is how I fix that up. Remember that this grid needs to be static. So I select the range, press F4 so that the range gets prefixed and suffixed with the range so that you know when we move on to different rows and columns the referencing of the grid does not change 
observe carefully what has happened over here while trying to make the grid static accidentally i have also made the reference static there is a dollar sign before and after b in b2 so in that case what happens is all columns in c will end up with the same particular class no that should not be the case the reference grid needs to be constant where we have the grid and class but not the referencing cell so all that we need to do is remove the dollar sign before and after b in uh, c2 in that particular formula b2 should be a, a dynamic header not a static header with the dollar sign and then again you use the drag and drop function by double clicking on the bottom right hand and the entire thing comes in together so you saw we had a problem related to classification and to solve that we use the rand between function we use the nested if function and we use the v lookup function by creating a grid and class grid i would encourage you to pay careful attention to the syntax of the nested if functions and the static and dynamic referencing for the v lookup function and maybe you can create some assignments for yourself and get yourself familiarized with you know how to use a combination of functions to solve a particular problem thank you